amongst the 39 Lok Sabha seats. And let's say, okay, let's do a deep dive. Ramanathapuram. Prime Minister went there and of course Prime Minister Ramanathapuram is under the discourse right now because of Kachativu issue. IUML at 44% vote share, BJP at 32%. Again, runner-up here. Can it actually bridge this gap? Kanyakumari. Congress at 60% vote share. Clear winner the last time around. The BJP at 35%. So clearly a distant second. Big gap to bridge. Let's Sivagangai where Karthi Chitambaram is contesting. Congress 52% vote share. BJP has only 22% vote share, a 30% vote share gap. How is it going to bridge this? Tutukuri, DMK 57% and the BJP 35%. Look at Puducherry, Congress 56%. AINRC, the NDA ally, had 35%. CR Keshavan, national spokesperson of the BJP with us. C. Rajashekharan, lawyer and president of Voice of Tamil Nadu with us. And Anand Ranganathan stays on. Thank you very much. Namaste and Jai and ladies to the gentlemen here present. Now, the big question is, <coughs> C.R. Keshavan, there is a reason why M.K. Stalin is saying zero, because that's what the numbers point out for the BJP. If you look at these seats where the BJP has more than, say, 30% vote share, except for one or two places, but look at the gap between the mm. leader and the runner-up. How are you even going to get three seats in Tamil Nadu? Good evening, Anand, and uh, to my co-panelists. M.K. Stalin is saying so because he is rattled seeing the reception the Honorable Prime Minister has been receiving from the people of Tamil Nadu. Uh, I'll uh, define this uh, debate and my answer with just one line. Hmm. What happened in 2019 in West Bengal for the BJP? Everybody predicted a linear growth. From two seats, we went up to 18 seats. From about, uh, you know, and we increased our vote share to 40%, the staggering 25% increase. This mm. is called an inflection point. And what we're seeing in Tamil Nadu, the groundswell of support is going to be an inflection point. In, you know, in Tamil Nadu, Lok Sabha history is what we strongly feel. And I'll tell you why. Mm. See, the, the people are fed up with the social justice rhetoric of the DMK. Nothing has happened, but true social justice has happened because... Modi ji has delivered non-discriminatory, del you know, delivery of uh, <laughs> development programs worth 11 lakh crore to the people. Hmm. People are seeing change happening at the ground. It's percolated, and you tell you see what he's done for Tamil Nadu in terms of development program. I'll come to the you know hmm. chemistry. Later. I just want to right. cite the see 2.67 lakh crores have been given to 5.4 crore people, mostly youth and women under the mudra loans. Hmm. These are making an impact. 1.6 crore Jandan accounts, 58 percent are women. And you know, these uh, uh, PM Awas Yojana, the schemes for houses, the majority of the patta is given to women. Mm. Somebody who's working in my house has got a PM Awas Yojana and the Prime Minister tweeted about it. This is happening at the ground level. Mm. And politically, besides the development program, see what happened with Kachatiu. You know, the, the, the Shakuni like match fixing of the Congress and the DMK has been exposed. They've been shedding mm. crocodile. People are very angry. You know, the fishermen are, you know, people may say, oh, this is a, this was a small place or they'll say, oh, it doesn't affect. It's not about one constituency impact. It's a loss of faith and trust in the DMK and, and the failed promises. Uh, hmm. You know, I, I cited how much the Prime Minister did for the women. What did the DMK do? They increased task mark sales. They said their first signature, you know, will be to remove it. And the task mark sales, there is a flood of liquor in Tamil Nadu and the people who are affected are women. Dynastic rule. Hmm. People, people, you know, they look and the and the anti sanatan you know, uh, north hmm. south rhetoric. You know, they're talking the language of the 1960s. See, and here, I'll tell you what. Here, and here, hmm. it is not, it is not a division of vote, Anand. It's a pro BJP vote. They, they want an alternative. They want a change. They feel Modi ji's development model, Modi ji's guarantees the vaccine to defeat this DMK virus of false hmm. promises, also misrule. Right. See Rajeshekran. Yes, good evening, Alan. Good evening. In all these seats, the DMK is not there anywhere in the picture. It's all allies of the DMK. But is the BJP now perhaps going to dent and change, shift the narrative? Uh, Anand, uh, with due regards to whatever uh, statistics and percentage of votes and from where did you get it, I don't know. Maybe the last election's uh, results, your... Uh, telecasting or what is that? I didn't yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Last yeah. elections so results. 2019 Lok Sabha, the places where the BJP was a second or a close second okay. or a distant second. No, did, did they contest alone or uh, were they with alliance with the ADMP? 
ऑफ कोर्स दे वर रिलायंस विद दी एडीएम के बट दीज वर बीजेपी कैंडिडेट्स सर तो द एडीएम के वोट शेयर इट्स नो नो लेट मी मेक थिंग्स वेरी क्लियर ऑन योर चैनल इट इज द एडीएम के वोट शेयर व्हिच यू आर प्रोजेक्टिंग एज बीजेपी वोट शेयर देयर इटसेल्फ द द ट्रूथ हैज कम आउट आई डोंट वांट टू से इट इज अ लाइ बस्टेड दैट इज नॉट माय टर्म जनरली द ट्रूथ इज दैट इट इज द एडीएम के वोट शेयर and uh, in tamil nadu hmm. whatever the bjp says they have grown and uh, their vote share has increased all fine with due regards on social media and national debates and regional debates they have grown i don't dispute that fact again i want to reiterate hmm. let them appoint booth level members in throughout tamil nadu hmm. let them uh, bring the uh, per booth that is Uh, which uh, the ADMK ex minister Velumani also also was saying hmm. the other day. I, I just saw it on your channel only hmm. that they don't have they they don't exist in Coimbatore because hmm. it is the bastion of uh, Velumani, Edapadi, and uh, uh, the ADMK, which the Congo Belt. They say hmm. now the uh, BJP claims they will win, which uh, I'm not saying any 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 person who's contesting elections would definitely uh, aspire to win. they will say i am going to win hmm. if i contest election also i will say i will win if independent candidate also will say i am going to win hmm. that is their uh, uh, right to say that i i am not disputing i am not uh, uh, accusing anybody that they are telling lies which is their job hmm. because they are contesting election but the ground reality is different hmm. it though though there is anti incumbency against dmk they have got the edge over it is advantage dmk in all party seats maybe adnk may may win couple of seats i don't know which seat i'm not so um, but you are saying that BJ, they, despite anti incumbency the dmk is going to steamroll the bjp is going to be routed so no, dr Rang- no no dr ranganathan there is a reason why then perhaps that uh, dayanidhi maran uh, the likes of mr dayanidhi maran are calling uh, anna malai a joker now is he a joker as in jest or is he the joker who's perhaps going to turn this entire game what's it going to be Uh, well the last time uh, mr maran talked about something he had to take permission from his dynasty sion so i'm not very sure whether these are his words or the words that have been uh, uh, translated to be told to him uh, three okay interesting yes sir sorry to interrupt you dr ranganathan my research team is coming out and saying that this is all bjp vote share sir there is no ai dmk here it's all bjp vote share so the research team watching you is now currently telling you here is the fact check sir this is all bjp no, vote no, share they, there is no the there is no ai dmk where did they get the vote share are they they have these are all core bjp vote shares boss, because this is bjp batsman i have nothing against you are the boss or no boss sir th- sir sir yeah you don't claim to be the only person who knows tamil nadu please historically no, no. <laughs> historically the bjp has had influence in at least five constituencies at council level assembly level or at lok sabha level in these are the constituencies where the bjp had a significant uptake in its vote share over and above the regional parties and this is all bjp vote share now if you still want to challenge this data this is from the election commission i will please you are a lawyer no, please no, petition the election challenge. commission no, challenge them please, please. now dr ranganathan no, sorry no, for the interruption I, I please continue no le okay sir no, you are your voice of tamil nadu but delhi. but a tamilan from delhi needs his voice on the show allow him please yes <laughs> yeah with due respect uh, mr rajeshekaran i didn't interrupt you thank you so much uh, it's a wonderful discussion we're having three points here number 1 anand yeah i just want thank you for that correction because i wanted to point out that these are actually not aia dmk or other numbers these are actually bjp numbers because yes mm. out of the uh, you know 40 odd uh, whatever seats there might be in tamil nadu there still exist three or four seats where the bjp has substantial vote share so you are absolutely right hmm. but bjp is not no longer thinking of winning those three or four constituencies please remember that hmm. Hmm. Uh, over and above the fact that both anna anna malai and uh, mr modi have said that we have a 15 year vision we are not talking just of 2024 i want to make three very quick points number 1 anand when the back is against the wall the spine grows in that back hmm this is bjp is no longer worried about its association with aia dmk or any other party because it is a straight david versus goliath story and we saw that happen right before our eyes in 2019 when in hmm. 2014 as cr rightly said the bjp got only backed only two lok sabha seats in bengal 5 years later it backed as many as 18 hmm. 
this is their thinking please hmm. uh, please, uh, please do not ignore it and you will be ignoring it at your peril now what are the things that are going in favor of 2024 hmm. bjp as bjp is concerned two things number one there is no longer this huge chunk of community that traditionally hmm. does not vote for bjp as it did in bengal in 2014 and despite that the bjp backed 18 seats i'm talking of the muslim community hmm. the muslim community is 35% in bengal in tamil nadu it is 5.6% so that is a plus factor as far as people who traditionally don't vote for bjp hmm. if they are out of the picture it is a straight battle and even mr rajeshekran would admit that the aia dmk base has withered over the last 10 years since the passing away of the late sri uh, shrimati jayalalitha so there is a huge chunk of that vote bank that has Selvi, Selvi rather than Jailita. going to dmk selvi jayalalitha is up for grabs and hmm. bjp has taken it now one would be foolish to assume that that hasn't happened but above that i want to reiterate the fact that you know what cr talked about the mudra loans talked about the toilets talked about the tap connections please remember hmm. despite a lot of schemes being hogged by the uh, the the state as being theirs mm. the fact remains that the flagship schemes of the bjp have this stamp for better or for worse of pm narendra modi so in tamil nadu on the ground he is known as the man who has facilitated 80 crore people being fed over the last 3 years he is the one who has facilitated 110 million tap Sir. water connection mm. the toilet the bank accounts it is modi versus everybody else no that's a that's a very strong uh, narrative nationally and also it works on tv debates so on ground the dynamics are different the on ground the caste sub caste dynamics come into play the local leader come into play and of course who has their own hold see in all of this crk when you'll have to admit that even in today even in the conscious media conscious it may be a dmk versus bjp in terms of the lexicon let's not discount edapadi panni swami and the likes of those leaders who have strong caste base so before before i add the were in the counter caste groups and other Aram, caste groups yes please Aram, before i address the question i want to talk uh, take a minute about the maran thing see hmm. maran his statement is disgusting repulsive and it will be a, it will boomerang badly not just on maran on the dmk you know dayanidhi maran his last name is his only claim to fame but his first name dayanidhi means kindness in tamil all of you would know yeah. but anything that comes out, out of his mouth is wild venom you know tamil culture that is represented by this beautiful lyric in a song, you know movie song which says padavi varumbodu panivu varavendum when power comes you need to be humble and you know behave in a civilized and dignified way but that is our tamil culture but what maran has done is exactly opposite attacking mr annamalai i remember you know modi ji's words the lotus blooms in the dirt and mud these people are throwing insults you know and uh, abuses at us like what happened to modi ji how people rallied behind him people will make the lotus bloom in tamil nadu and let me come back to your you know you talk about these uh, details right. let us uh, anand let us please understand there are caste arithmetic there you know all the arithmetics are there but this is a you know this is you know one of a kind election because you don't have kalanir karnanadi you don't have selvi jayalalitha this is and people are uh, there are new voters there are youngsters and you see on one side you see a party a dynastic party and you right. see the kind of corruption anand see the i'll tell you what is the clincher tamil nadu politics has been riddled with corruption but modi ji stands for corrupt free governance in the dmk there is a minister who right. his, so all, who of this, his, all of this all of this all of, all of this will have a, no no all of this will have an impact but perhaps the biggest impact is and something which is also a reality check for every political party do you have every person a person or boots on the booth because did you have boots on the booth you are not going to be able to get the voter to the there, booth there, and to there, vote there, so we'll have to wait and watch we'll have to wait and watch. i have run out of time we'll continue to keep focus spotlight on tamil nadu at least till the 19th of april for sure to all the gentlemen thank you very much i have to wind up i have to wind up over time thank you stay with us